What's going on YouTube, Geosan right here. In today's video I'm going to show you how to enable developer mode on iOS 16 in order to be able to sideload applications like chill breaks and customization applications and stuff like that and even of course alt store. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare iAnyGo which allows you to basically change the location of your device without a jailbreak to anywhere in the world. This is useful for applications which require location access. The application can easily change your location to any place. To do that you connect your device to your computer, go to change location in here, press enter, select your device and select any location in the world. For example, if I want to go here to United States and I'm going to go here in Arizona, I'm going to start to modify and that's it. Press continue and your location will be changed to this position in here. You can do single spot movement, but you can also do multi spot movement, which allows you to select a path that your device will follow. This is useful for protecting your privacy or for playing games that require location services, for example, Pokemon Go and even for social media and stuff like that. So for example, for multi spot movement you select a couple of points for example this this and this and select a speed for example by car and press start to move your device will start moving from this point from the beginning point all the way up to the final one you can definitely check the program out in the link below it's available for both Windows and Mac OS so if I was 16 Apple changed stuff a little bit as you can see I have a side loaded application here Koabunga which is a tweaking application but unfortunately if I tap on it it says developer mode required and it cannot run without developer mode now this is something new in iOS 16 and if you never turned on developer mode you may not have any idea how to do that. So to do that you just go here to settings, navigate all the way down to privacy and then go all the way to the bottom. There will be a developer mode over here and you have to toggle this on. Now make sure you don't toggle lockdown mode on because this is a completely different thing and it will limit a lot of the device's features. So in order to turn on developer mode you go ahead in here, toggle this on and it will require a restart. It says when developer mode is turned on your device security will be reduced. Restart your device to turn developer mode on. So I'm going to restart device and be right back. So after the reboot, immediately after you unlock the device, you will have this prompt over here, turn on developer mode. And it says developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development. When developer mode is turned on, your device security will be reduced. Press turn on and that's basically it. You're going to be asked for your passcode again and that's it. You're now able to have developer mode enabled and all these side loaded applications will actually load as you can see from here. And this application that I have in here for example was side loaded and I can tweak the device to disable the dock, disable the home bar and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do just that, apply and respring. And as you can see the dock is no longer there and if I open an application there is also no home bar in here on the bottom. So yes the applications do work, they are side loaded and you can use them. Now if you want to turn this back off, if you no longer want to use applications, you go back in here to privacy and security, developer mode and toggle that off. And the applications will no longer work. You can see in here it now asks for developer mode once again. You can turn off and turn on the developer mode as much as you want. It's not going to affect your device and there is no limit on that. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.